Good afternoon, Headmaster Anthony McCulley. The Year 7 teachers and I would like to take a moment of your time to propose to you a year plan. Brisbane Grammar School has an outstanding historical commitment to educating boys which is expressed both in terms of academic outcomes and the development of lifelong learning. The school epitomised innovative spirit with the learning spaces that incorporate powerful technologies that enable rich, collaborative, authentic learning experiences. We propose to you, Headmaster Anthony, Anthony McCulloch of the Middle School Precinct of Brisbane Grammar, that you employ this science unit as these ideas are worthy and well matched to approach the junior secondary at this school. The unit will enable students to develop the ability to think creatively, respond imaginatively, analyse critically and communicate effectively. The school's mission statement, which you are familiar with, coincides strongly with our unit, which is a focus on a sense of community and sense of well-being. An important part of learning at Brisbane Grammar happens beyond the classroom. That is why our science unit revolves around outdoor experiences that get the students out of the classroom to explore and experience the real world through hands-on learning. The outdoor education program is a real highlight at the school. The science unit utilises this program and will both excite and engage the boys in authentic learning about science concepts, as well as provide opportunities for collaborative and project-based learning. The science unit incorporates curriculum, pedagogies and assessment strategies that are scaffolded through Bybee's 5E's model of engage, explore, explain, elaborate and evaluate. Through this model, students develop science inquiry skills based on classifying organisms. Within the unit, students develop knowledge, understanding and skills based around the biological science strain of classification of organisms. In Lesson 1 of the Engage stage, students investigate why we classify things and identify characteristics of living and non-living organisms. The Explore stage in Lesson 2 involves the exploration of how we classify using scientific terms through collaborative learning and discussion. Lesson 3 the explain stage explicitly introduces scientific terminology for classifying organisms through various activities as well as discussing the excursion to a local habitat. Lesson 4, the elaborate stage, gets students prepared for the excursion by exploring the school grounds for flora and fauna to create signs around the school community. Lesson 5 is where the boys take a trip to Roma Street Parklands across the road to investigate the organisms that inhabit the local environment and document their learning through scientific learning logs. Lessons 6 and 7 involve the students completing their summative assessment piece where they create an inf information poster including the data they collected as justification. Finally, Lesson 8, the Evaluate Stage, is an exhibition of the posters that were created, including time for discussion and peer feedback opportun opportunities. The middle school curriculum that we have devised is engaging, rigorous and stimulating that demonstrates a passion towards the education of boys at this important stage of their development. As part of understanding our boys, we have incorporated the use of a negotiated curriculum. Being involved in the outdoor education program, the Year 7 boys expressed an interest in organisms in their surrounding environment and with this knowledge, the boys' interests were embedded into the unit revolving around the science concept of classifying organisms. Integrated curriculum is an integral part of in the curriculum planning. Brisbane Grammar is committed to the ongoing integration of ICT to enhance learning. That is why it is embedded throughout the science unit. That is evident through the use of iPad apps and interactive websites to facilitate learning as well as utilising technology for research research purposes throughout each stage of Bybee's 5 model. There is also a strong link to literacy where students continuously write reflections and justification to demonstrate their understandings. The unit encompasses many pedagogical practices which cater to the unique learning needs of the students with a main focus on collaborative learning. Multiple opportunities are given to students to create a collaborative classroom environment. These are evident in many, if not all, of the developed lessons, with examples such as working collaboratively in groups to explore and investigate various characteristics of organisms, debating in groups, as well as working collaboratively to produce a poster on the classification of animals in the local environment as part of their assessment. 
project-based learning is incorporated as a process in the unit which provides opportunities for students to take responsibility for their own learning as they engage in science practices. This process is demonstrated in the elaborate, elaborate and evaluate stage as students form an investigation and collate data to produce their knowledge and understanding of classification. All of these pedagogical practices are presented through a constructivist approach which is the nature and approach adapted by Brisbane Grammar and is clearly evident throughout the school's curriculum. Assessment plays a central role in Brisbane Grammar's academic processes and within this unit there is a focus on formative assessment that includes questioning, whole class and group discussions, teacher observations and effective peer feedback. These four formative assessment strategies include six key principles a classroom culture that encourages interactions through the use of varied approaches to assessing student understanding, effective feedback, active involvement of students in the learning process, establishing learning goals, and finally, the use of varied instruction methods that meet learner needs. Students are given the opportunity to negotiate the summative assessment piece by either creating a poster digitally or physically. Mr Anthony McAuliffe. I hope you can see how the proposed unit strongly initiates and embraces constructive change, as well as encompasses the values of the school. The unit will be beneficial to the intellectual, physical and emotional development of our adolescent boys as they merge into senior schooling and prepare for their future lives.